morning students welcome to today's online science class standard 7 unit number 3 changes around us in term 2 in the session we are going to see about the introduction part and effects of heat on solid liquid and gas so first changes take place around us all the time it changes refers to an alteration in physical properties or in the composition of matter for example ice melts on heating that is it is a change from a solid to liquid state on further heating water starts evaporating it will be changes from liquid to gas here there is a change in the physical state of the substance let us look at another change that is when an object made of iron or exposed to moist conditions a reddish brown new substance called a rust forms on the surface of this object so in this instance of rusting there is change in the composition of the substance thus the change involves an alteration in the properties such as color texture and the state of the substance since there is formation of a new substance okay students let's go for another set of examples here we are going to take glass of water and then paper so the water upon heating become just hotter and hotter and at some point will become water vapor it remains water at all times that is water remains the same only its volume changes and hence it is called a physical change when it changes in the volume alone it is called as a physical state okay what is the difference between a mass and then volume okay mass so mass is the amount of matter on object contains volume is how much space it takes up this is the definition of mass and then volume so next in case of burning of paper changes to carbon dioxide and other substances now we cannot get back the paper after burning as there is a change in the physic sorry chemical nature it is called as a chemical change okay so chemical change and physical change chemical change a chemical reaction forms a new product for example uh, rusting of iron burning of paper in a physical change matter change form but not the chemical identity for example melting boiling chopping so for a physical change it does not uh, uh, form any new products so next so today's homework is you have to identify physical and chemical changes so take the page number 37 in your book uh, and then you have to draw the tabular column in your uh, rough note so resting of iron digestion of food boiling egg rotten banana mixing sand and water chopping wood crushing a can mixing of different colored butter so and then burning of wood so you have to list out the physical and chemical changes so what are states of matter solid liquid and then gas okay matter is classified as solid liquid and gas based on the physical state so we know that matter is made up of tiny particles atoms and molecules so particles are in constant and a random movement let us have a look at the summary of the characteristics of solid liquid and gas in this session so when the arrangement of the particles of a substance changes for any reason for example applying of pressure and then temperature and other different uh, reasons so physical state of the substance gets changed okay let us see what happens when we heat to the substance so next heading is effect of heat on solid liquid and then gases upon heating particle arrangement within the state of matter gets disturbed the disturbance is either as expansion or contraction when heated or cooled the object may expand or contract but the mass remains the same that is the number of particles that are that was inside the object does not undergo any change so 
there is no change in the number of particles only the arrangement of the particle changes when we uh, heating the substance there is no change in the number of particles but there is a change in the arrangement of the particles this kind of uh, changes when there is a change in the volume but mass remains the same are called as physical change dear students look at the image in a solid substance the particles are very close together so they are closely packed so the particles are arranged in a regular pattern so next liquid so in liquid in which particles are close together but uh, not as a solid uh, it is a uh, loosely packed so particles are not arranged in a fixed regular pattern so next gas in which particles are far apart from each other they are very loosely packed so particles are not arranged in a regular pattern okay students complete the homework in your book page number 37 you have to identify the physical and chemical changes so on fill in the given table page number 38 you have to fill the tablet column okay thank you